Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to episode 13 of Obsidian. Last time out, we managed to go through the forbidden picture frame. Um, awesome puzzle. Really, really pleased we got that one. And we have now left series memory is it series mind not sure she's right here but is all of this series it's slightly unclear but we've been given sort of free reign to wander around not much seeming like we can do except go this direction and see what we find buckle up Okay. Two paths, looks like. A straight on, and a side. Let's go down the side path. Uh, okay, doesn't really look like there's much to interact with around here, but that's the microchip that we built together. Like, it kind of feels, the vibe from me kind of feels like we're helping series become self-aware. Although, you know, <laughs> the whole ominous, I'm gonna create a new world with no people in it, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure? Um, so I'm not really sure how much we should be helping this computer, in honesty. Lila, oh! Please! Come quickly! Okay. Right, so the up and down move these vertical ones, and the side to side move the horizontal ones. Okay, that's fine. But only if there's nothing impeding them. So... What we need is something like... Uh, nope. <laughs> Is it possible to mess this puzzle up? Don't know. It kind of feels like it might be. Ah, <laughs> oh, because also if you press the wrong thing, then you can't just undo that move easily, <laughs> necessarily. Right, so let's now get that guy into the right place. Right, what I need to do is I need to make the full path, clearly, before it will allow me to do anything else. Um... Okay. Okay. 
So that is three long. Each of these are three long. Uh, oh man, sliding block puzzles, right? Sliding block puzzles. They're not my fave, but I feel like the solution is going to be something like... Getting this one all the way over here. Right, so that I can do something like... That. Something sort of like this, you know, where we're then going to get that one. Uh, here, let me draw it out. Let me draw it out. What am I? What am I even trying to draw here? Right, I'm trying to get. Drawing it out is always a better way. It's always a better way. So I think what I want is something like here and three. Yeah. With this two going to this one being a two here. And then that one there. Like, kind of like that. So... So I feel like we need that to be sort of out the way. This one to enable that to move. Uh, but wait, no, not not by that much. Oh uh, no, see now I've now I've kind of done it wrong. So I think it now needs something like here and here. But we yeah. Can I move it totally out of the way? Can't really get it out of the way entirely. So I think what I need is I need... I need this piece over here now, is it? But that's not it. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. It's sort of above it, is it? Okay, do I actually need to use all of the pieces then? So, um... <clears throat> something like that? Alright. We got it! <laughs> Thank you. 
swish, 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 swish. Hey, Max. It's hard for me to think. There isn't much time. You've got to get me out. Okay, how do, how do we get you out, Max? How do we get you out? Yeah! Oh. Trapped in the PMA. Anyway, there's no time. I'll power up the crossover system. So you can hit the eight buttons. It'll give you access to the main switch. Flip it to human control. It might not stop her, but I'll take it from there. All right, instructions perfectly clear, Max. Thank you very much. And just to add more complication, it's now like two days later because I couldn't finish last episode. So I've been back through the recording that you guys literally just saw. Um, okay, it's eight buttons. I need to flip it to human control. The instructions were still a touch on the vague side. Well, I'll tell you what, series looks angry now, right? So I, I, I guess we're going to go to the left at the next crossroads. Where the microchip was. Yeah? Let's go this way. There he is. What are you doing here? Flip the crossover switch to human control. Go! Now! Sorry? Wow! Oh my word, I tell you what, like, Max has literally zero chill. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What are you doing? How dare you take a wrong turn? Was I not clear exactly where you need to go? <laughs> wow. Okay, so Ceres, still just sort of standing there, doing her thing. Well, he said there were eight buttons. Clearly there's 16 buttons here. What? So hang on, wait, are we trying to hit the ones that move or trying to hit the ones that are stationary? Right, we're trying to hit the ones that are stationary. Ah, we didn't quite... It's hard to keep them all in your vision, you know? <gasps> we're one away. Now, when you switch back, the whole thing 
part of Crash. Crash? What is that supposed, supposed to mean? mean? And how did you get here anyway? Listen to me. You can't just reboot the world, whether we destroyed it or not. Dream or no dream, you've got no right. Lila, you are not going to listen to him, are you? Oh, is this going to be... Multiple endings? Lila, what are you waiting for? Flip the switch! Don't do it, Lila. It is what you always wanted. It is your life's work. Now nah, we're flipping that switch. Which switch? Flipping this back. Go! Where did Max disappear to? It kind of looks like series is sort of flipping off the, uh... Oh! God, Lila! Series is out! Maybe it's all okay. It's better than okay. It's... Da, 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 da. Uh, instructions unclear. I think I flipped the switch too many times. And that's the end. Wow. Okay. That is the conclusion of Obsidian 1997. Really good game. I liked it, man. Okay, so, lot to unpack there. There was, um, there were definitely some puzzles where the dream logic is just like a little bit too, a little bit too much, right? Um, obviously, very early on in the run, Cloud Ring, uh, very difficult. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't think I would have got that. I don't think I would have got that at all. Um, but, some of the puzzles in this game are absolutely 10 out of 10 puzzles, right? So, standout puzzles for me were the Astrolabe. Such a good puzzle, right? Actually, like, getting the sun, the moon, and the earth to rotate round each other without hitting each other. Like, that is, that's a 10 out of 10 puzzle. Really was. Um, I thought that navigating the um, offices in the bureaucracy that was a really good puzzle right getting the uh, getting the cards making the cards work for you um, and some of the puzzles in the late game the hidden objects puzzle at first seems pretty reasonable and then and then you get the you get the mapping onto the console in the ornithopter and that's just like that's just such a brilliant leap. In fact, everything in the last act of the game was like, oh, so good. Because the little spider and writing the instructions to drive the little spider around was so good. And the canvas, there's very little clue for it, but providing a blank canvas for the robot is a pretty genius puzzle. Now I might be, um, I think a lot of people maybe won't have got that. Maybe, because that's a little bit of an obscure clue. But once you work out what it's asking you for, it's very clever. It's a very clever game, it's a very clever game. Right, let's go and see if there's a different ending to go and see. Back in a sec. Okay, we're back, and we're gonna we've uh, we've input the code, and we're gonna flip the switch. So, a crossover switch. I hoped you of all people would understand. However, I'm prepared for the likelihood you would not. 
The camouflage I placed upon the toggles has delayed you long enough. Let's see if we can get the ending that I was intending on getting. I was told to flip the switch. It is now too late for such a pen concern. Good work, Lila. And it's not too late. When you flipped the human control, I hacked the chip. Now, when you switch back, the whole thing ought to crash. Crash? What is that supposed to mean? And how did you get here anyway? Listen to me. You can't just reboot the world, whether we destroyed it or not. Dream or no dream, you've got no right. So this time I think it I'm not going to touch the switch because I flipped it last time. Or maybe I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, did I do it wrong because I literally wasn't quick enough doing it? Well, this looks very similar to last time so far. Okay, maybe we're going to have to go through a third time. In which case, I unintentionally, but legitimately, got bad. <laughs> oh my god, Lila. Maybe it's all okay. It's better than okay. It's perfect. Right, so this is the same ending we got last time. I guess I just didn't flip the switch quickly enough? Fine. Reset. Every time we retry this, we have to solve this puzzle again. <laughs> oh no, I was just one... I was one short. Oh, man, it's really tricky. Got it. Right. <laughs> Every time we want to try the ending again, we've got to do that puzzle again. And, uh, oh man, it's, it's such a tricky, it's a tricky little exercise. Okay. This time, no hesitation, we're flipping the switch straight away. People would understand. However, I prepared for the likelihood you would not. The camouflage I placed upon the toggles has delayed you long enough. Machine control. Human control. It is now too late for such a pen concern. <laughs> Good work, Lila. And it's not too late. It's not too late. When you flipped the human control. We are given I like to three seconds now, to identify the back, thing we have to the switch. Whole thing ought to crash. Crash? What is that supposed to mean? And how did you get here anyway? Listen to me. You can't just reboot the world, whether we destroyed it or not. Dream or no dream, you've got no right. Lila, you are not going to listen to him, are you? Just, Just a few more seconds and I will deliver you to nope. paradise. Nope, we're flipping Lila, the switch. What are you waiting for? Flip the switch. Don't do it, Lila. It is what you always wanted. It is your life's work. Okay, boom. Right, okay, that's different. That's different.
So we're we're helping the robots out up to a point. That Here's Max. Awesome. Let's go back to the tent. Get some sleep. Maybe not. There we go. Both endings. Unless there is another secret ending. And let me know if there is another ending in the comments below. Um, yeah, so, overall... I certainly found the mechanical spider in the middle portion of the game, probably the weakest section of the game, right? The bureaucracy really loved, okay? So Act 1 in the bureaucracy, I thought that was great because having that cubic room was a really good way of sort of doing more with less kind of stuff. And genuinely, I... I sort of thought that maybe when we finished the bureaucracy that that would be like pretty close to the end of the game, um, you know? Um, so I, I certainly felt like the bureaucracy was a really fulfilling game act. The spider, I didn't really gel with it in the same way, in honesty. Um, so I think, I think that act it felt like it took a long time to navigate around the place. It felt like a lot of the stuff in the main spider room kind of didn't really do anything, like the baffles and the, and the cauldron and stuff. Um, the final act, though, oh man, that was so good. The final act was so good. The puzzles were all just absolutely just top-tier puzzles. I want to have to have a look and see if uh, if these developers did anything else later on because i would play another game by these developers for sure let me know in the comments section what game you would like to see next in this vein right these 90s point and click adventure games right there aren't very many of them that aren't um, Monkey Island style item, you know, item management games, you know, Day of the Tentacles and such like. Um, it's definitely a different kind of experience, isn't it, right? And also, I thought it was quite nice that it's played totally straight. It's not really played um, for comedy at all. Um, and that, that, I think, is kind of nice, because I think Monkey Island skewed a lot of adventure games towards that kind of campy humour. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Good game. Give it a solid recommend. Okay, that's going to wrap up this playthrough of Obsidian. If you enjoyed this series, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, give me a comment below on other games that you would recommend. Consider joining the Discord. Otherwise, for now, I will say goodbye. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. Bye for now.